Avenal is situated in central California, halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco. A small farming community, it's home to just over 15,000 people, a third of whom are resident at the nearby state prison. Like many small towns in the area, the population is of primarily Mexican descent, and life here moves at a leisurely pace. Avenal is home to one of U.S. boxing's rising stars. Jose Ramirez uses the town's tranquil streets and rolling hills to pound out the miles on his daily training runs. Jose is a four-time national champion, but only started boxing at the local gym as a way to pass the time. I went in there just to socialize as well, uh, to have fun, to get a sport. But then when I started doing it, you know, I started forgetting about who was around. And I started forgetting about staying. Instead of, after practice, instead of staying there and just uh, socializing with them or playing some arcade games that they had in there, I would just go in and, and do extra rounds in the back. I would just uh, pay attention to the coaches. I, I, just, I just wanted to learn how to fight. Ramirez took up boxing aged seven. A month after joining the gym, he gained his boxing license. Two months later, he was representing Avenal in local amateur tournaments. In the 11 years since that time, Jose has compiled a record of 128 wins to five losses. The 19-year-old has also won 10 championships, including four consecutive national titles. His amateur record outshines those of Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather Jr., Shane Mosley, and Fernando Vargas, boxers who all turned pro and won a total of 23 world titles between them. It feels great. Every time I hear that, it's a pleasure for me to hear that. It's like a motivation. Many people ask me, do I get pressured? And I, and I just I try to switch all that pressure into motivation. See, when people tell me that, it makes me think that they believe in me and, and as much as I believe in myself. Ramirez's impressive resume, together with his Mexican-American heritage and his good looks, have earned him comparisons with De La Hoya. Even though he's still an amateur, Jose is already being touted as professional boxing's next golden boy. Every time I hear that, it's a big pleasure, and uh, I get a warm feeling inside that, uh, that uh, they see me up there, such as uh, just like Oscar De La Hoya, which was a who was a uh, great Olympian, a gold medalist, and a uh, and a great person overall and inside the ring and outside the ring. So it's a pleasure for me uh, to, to hear that uh, said, and I just take it like a motivation. Uh, it makes me want to push myself to be just like him, or, or probably uh, if, if God wants it, uh, you know, do, do my best and uh, become a, a better champion or, or a great champion. Along with his running regime, Jose spends two hours in the gym every day, working with his trainer and godfather, Armando Mancinas. A former junior Olympics and all-army champion, the 55-year-old has been involved in boxing for over 40 years and has been working with Jose his entire career. I don't think there's any better uh, athlete at his, at his age at this moment. He's got the, the whole package. He's got excellent defense. He's got good speed, excellent speed, uh, a lot of power. And that's everything you're looking for in, in a fighter. And he's an Olympic caliber uh, type of fighter. And I think uh, we're in for a gold medal from him. I really do. Ramirez was voted the most outstanding boxer at this year's national championships. The 19-year-old recently won the 132-pound lightweight category at the US Olympic trials, qualifying for the world championships in Baku later this month. A top 10 finish at the event in Azerbaijan would earn Jose a place in next year's London Games. There are some natural physical abilities there, and uh, we kind of capitalized on that. And I was told him that whatever you get out of boxing is what you put into boxing. And he's kind of taken that to heart, and that's what separates him from the other kids that have gone through the gym. Jose was praised by world champion trainer Freddie Roach for his technique and style at the Olympic trials. He's an orthodox fighter with quick hands and has considerable knockout power for a lightweight. When I go in there, I just, I just worry about letting my punches go, fighting smart, uh, just uh, try to win my fight the smartest way possible. And if, of course, if I, was, if I know I hurt the guy with the good combination that I threw, uh, I would, I would uh, continue on it. And, um, maybe continue stronger and you know try to see how the fight goes 
Jose's achievements mean that he's in considerable demand. With the help of his promoter, Rick Morigian, Ramirez has made a number of appearances on national television and worked as a commentator on ESPN's Friday Night Fight. And Jose always likes to look his best for the cameras. What I really need is see who, who everybody's number one boxer is. And we'll, we'll start with you, of course, Jay. Oh, go, down, go down the list. Yeah, number one boxer. Number one boxer. All time? All time. All time. Mike Tyson. All time. It's not a question. Mike Tyson? Yes. Okay. All time. I hate that he bit his ear, but Mike Tyson. All, all time. time. All time. You don't even want to think about that? Yes, I didn't know. No. no. Oh, Knock him out, Mike. If it's your boy. All weight all, classes? All weight classes. All Records, time. Records, everything count for count, nothing? What, whatever. You're good at hang on. Ear bites, all that. Too. We went okay. all that. Uh, who's yours? Who's yours? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. At least we got Jaime in the road. I love Mike Tyson. 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 Don't worry, Jaime won't let us down. He'll pick a Mexican boxer. Mike Tyson was the truth, man. Yeah. Hey, he wasn't. He can't. But we can't give him all time greatest. All time. He bowed out in the ring. Quit. He didn't come out of the corner. We talking about the worst trainers of all time. Are we gonna go back to techniques, fundamental boxing? Everything. Oh yeah, knock the hell out. But he, but he knocked him out. Fundamental boxing. All right, now for the opinion that really matters. Your opinion. Who's the best? Pound for pound, forever, in your opinion. Come on, Jose. Don't forget, there's going to be a couple million people watching this someday, so. You better say yourself. Uh, one day. <laughs> there you go. That's honest. Uh, yeah. Gotta say, uh, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is one of the sport's biggest names. Along with fighters such as De La Hoya and Mayweather, he signed a number of multi-million dollar endorsement deals. For any aspiring boxer looking to follow in his footsteps, having the right look is key. Jose's focus is on qualifying for next year's Olympic Games, but such is his potential. Ramirez and his team have already had meetings with two of pro boxing's major players, Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and Bob Arum's top rank, to discuss his options about turning pro post-London 2012. I think Jose has unlimited potential at this point. Uh, he's rewritten uh, parts of boxing history up to this point. If he continues to progress along the lines he's developed now, I think we're going to see a generational fighter make his mark in the decades to come. The son of Mexican immigrants, Jose is the second youngest of Carlos and Juanito Ramirez's four children. At high school, Jose was a talented sportsman and participated in both soccer and cross-country running as well as boxing. Many athletes forfeit their amateur status and their education for the fame and money associated with the professional ranks. But Jose is resisting the temptation to turn pro too early. When he's not boxing, Ramirez works part-time at the local coffee shop and attends Fresno State University, an hour's drive from Avenal. He's studying computer engineering and is aiming to become the first member of his family to graduate from higher education. But for all his achievements to date, Jose's career almost never happened. When I was four and a half months pregnant with Jose, I was in a very bad car accident. We were really afraid that the baby could have suffered serious injuries. But luckily he was born very healthy and with loads of energy. And he still has loads of energy today. I feel very lucky in a way. Uh, I feel like things happen for a reason. And and um, if, if God gave me uh, this opportunity to come into his life, maybe it was, it was meant for something. And, and, and now that, that I'm doing all this, it's, it's making me get an idea like if I was a chosen one. I was the, I was meant for me, it was meant for me to become a world champion. Thanks to his abilities in the ring, this talented teenager already has a website and an iPhone and Android app to further boost his image ahead of any decision to turn professional. Having experienced so much success already in his career, his family and his team are determined to ensure that Ramirez remains grounded and that his life stays as balanced and as happy as possible. Jose Ramirez will be a future Olympian and I believe a, a breath of fresh air in boxing in the years to come. I think Jose will add a future fan base that hasn't been there in a while. And he's just a likable kid that can fight his ass off. And I think win or lose, Jose is going to be a proven commodity and an asset to boxing in the years to come. 
when it comes to Olympic boxing, America is the game's most successful nation, having won a total of 108 medals. However, US fighters have struggled in recent years and have only claimed one gold at the past three Olympics. Should he secure his place in London later this month, Jose Ramirez will be one of the favorites to end his country's medal drought. And if this young Mexican-American succeeds in claiming Olympic gold, we think professional boxing could see its next superstar making his mark over the forthcoming years. I do want to be the best the fighter. I want to be remembered after I'm gone too. Because uh, I know if I'm remembered, uh, if, I, if I do something for myself, uh, not just, I'm not just going to be remembered for my family, it's going to be remembered overall. And I really do want to leave a mark. It's something that they're going to remember me and, and my family and whoever knew, whoever knew me, they, you know, they're going to remember me after I'm gone. And, and, but I, besides that, you know, I want to I retire as a world champion.